hey guys welcome to my channel this is your lady maslin and i am back i am back i am back okay guys so today i want uh, let me first share with you something um before i tested one of uh, nigerian they have a uh, famous I think people from West Africa, they have a special rice called jollof. So, guys, this jollof rice is actually amazing. It's amazing, guys. And I think people from West Africa, they always make it uh, more... Most of the time, they always make it. So, in Kenya, we don't have it. We have uh, pilau. In Kenya, we make pilau rice. That's what we make, the pilau. We have pilau and biryani. But for Nigerians, they have this jollof rice. It's actually very special and very delicious. So, guys, I decided, I went to my Nigerian friends. I told them, please, show me how we make this jollof. Because, guys, I have to learn. If the food you go and eat and it's so tasty, guys, go and learn how to cook it. So I was like, I have to learn how to cook this Nigerian jollof rice. And uh, I visited my friends and they showed me how they cook. Anyways, I'm not going to show you how I'm going to make my jollof rice because this is the first time. Maybe it will be backfire, but I pray it doesn't. I'm going to follow step by step. If my jollof rice will be perfect, guys, I will make another video and I will show you people, especially my West African, my East African people, they will also try how to make this jollof rice. So today I'll just show you the ingredients that I'm going to use to make my jollof rice. And later on, maybe if it will be okay, then... I will show you how I make it guys if you first of all if you like this uh, if you like me kindly subscribe give a thumbs up and like anyways let's go back to business I will just show you the ingredients that I have well for the first thing that I need to make my jollof rice definitely jollof, jollof rice will not be complete without rice so I have my rice here I don't know if this is the correct rice that I bought because I saw most of the time Nigerians are using this rice that are a little bit um, fat. Should I say fat? <laughs> okay, the rice that is fat. Then I have my curry powder here. I will use this curry powder for the chicken and also for the stew. We need uh, tomato paste. I have my tomato paste here. And guys, one thing, people from East Africa, we don't take chili a lot. Actually, most of the people, especially in Kenya, we don't really take chili. But Nigeria food is not food without pepe. Hey, my Nigeria people, you know, go kill us. Hey, hey, Nigerians, they like chili. So, guys, see the amount of chili that I'm going to use. Just see that. See that. Hey, hey. this is too much. I know the food is going to be so pepperish, but guys... It's really worth it and then I will have I have my two onions so that the onions and the chili I will blend them together the onions and the chili I will blend them together and then I'll just put it on fire to so that the chili can reduce some it will not be too pepperish then guys I have my nor cube oh my god I wish I could have the Nigerian seasoning that they always use so you know guys in UAE in Dubai we don't really have it so I'm just going to use this. This is the Dubai one, the Nor Cube. Then I have this type of, um, I have this uh, onion as well. I'm going to use it to make my chicken. I hope it will be good. Then guys, food, any food we make, we definitely need salt. We cannot make food without salt. Then here is my oil. I'm going to use this oil to make my food. Then. Here, guys, I have my. Um, this is the blender because I will need a blender. I need. I will need to blend my, my. How do we call it? My onion together with chili. I will use this blender to blend. Before you make sure. Before you start cooking, make sure your blender is clean, guys. We know cleanliness is next to God. So make sure your blender is clean. Make sure your kitchen is clean. Then. This is my chicken. I'm going to use this kind of chicken. This is not African chicken. You know, I wish I could have the African chicken. But, you know, guys, in Dubai, we don't have it. So what to do? We just have to manage what we have. Then here is my tilapia fish. Uh, and then another thing, actually, for, you know, I came to find out Nigerians, they will wash the fish. Once they wash the fish with the plain water, 
then they will soak it again in the salty water so i asked them why do you have to wash because in kenya we just wash with plain water that's it so they say they soak it in um, salty water so that it will kill the germs and also it will um, the salt the fish will absorb the salt very well so guys this is my salty water later after i wash the fish i will just come and uh, put here this is the it i put salt already inside this is my salty water and then what else what else i think that's that's all i have that's my ingredients for today the one that i'll be using to make my um, to make to make my jello fries guys please pray for me pray for me this thing doesn't backfire because hey i don't want to mess up i really want to know how to make this jello fries because i really like it guys okay guys make sure you subscribe to my channel so that next time we will keep on learning and learning how to cook my nigeria people if you watch this video please make sure you subscribe you can even leave a comment anything else that i can use you know to teach me what i learned to i need to learn to next time i want to learn how to cook a goosey and so and so and so guys kindly support me make sure you subscribe and then um, make sure you click the bell so that anytime I upload the video, you can be the first one to see. Anyways, guys, let me get back to work. I will start cooking now and have a nice day.